Hi, I'm Julian Walker and this is video number three in the New Holy Trinity series, which is really about tools that you can use for transformational practice on your yoga mat and in other places. So the three elements of this Trinity that we're discussing are breath and presence and compassion. And today we'll talk a little bit about presence. So present attention is a really interesting quality of being. It's a state of mind, sometimes called mindfulness. And I like this word mindfulness because part of what mindfulness suggests is that your mind is full of your present experience. Some people describe present attention or mindfulness as being a state of curiosity, openness, acceptance, and with a basic attitude of being loving towards yourself as you experience whatever it is that's going on. In the beginning, Often, and this may have been the case for you, it was certainly the case for me, when we first come across the idea of present attention, often there's a sense of effort about it. Like, I have to try really hard to just stay in the present. And there's sometimes a sense that you need to just disown any of your experiences from the past because that's not being present. Or maybe a sense that you need to uh, just forget about any ambitions or desires that you may have for the future because that's supposedly not being present. But I want to suggest to you that that's not really the case. Um, we all have uh, past experiences, and those past experiences have an impact on who we are and how we experience the present. So we can become present or become mindful through a meditative practice like yoga of how the influence of our past affects us in the present so that we can become more free of it. And by the same token, all of us have aspirations for the future, and that's, that's part of what moves us through our lives. So we can, again, become mindful of, oh, what's going on here? What is it that I'm hoping might happen in the future? What are the ambitions that are motivating me? And are they really the best choice? Do they really serve me the best? Are they in alignment with my ethical principles or my beliefs and values? So present attention is really this humble attitude, this willingness to be with what is unconditionally. It's not some special exotic faraway state that only special people get to experience. It's really available to each of us, and it has to do with right here, right now, paying attention to what is. And so what I'd like to invite you to do right now is just let your eyes close and come into a state of mindful, present attention. And what that means is that you notice any sounds that may be happening. And you notice your breath as it moves in and out and you become aware of maybe what's on your mind or what's at the top of your heart, what's happening in your body. And through this kind of mindful present attention, we start to find that we drop deeper into being in touch with the multiple intelligences that are available to us. Emotional intelligence, body intelligence, our instincts, our impulses, our intuition. And through present attention, we start to gain more insight about who we are and how we want to live our lives. Thank you for your time.